Oh, shalom, my people. It seems like Shaka Khan is the only one that has the moral fiber to really speak the truth about this Whitney Houston tragedy. Because right here, this is the CNN uh, press room page, right? And if you scroll down here, you have the Piers Morgan um, Tonight Show where Shaka Khan, she questions the Clive Davis uh, Grammy party. So on Saturday, um, legendary singer Whitney Houston, she suffered a tragic death. And tonight's Piers Morgan is joined by a panel of music industry insiders that allegedly knew her best. Now, the, the singer-songwriter, Shaka Khan, she first recorded the single, I'm Every Woman, a song Houston took to new heights 15 years later, calling the late uh, star... Her little sister, Shaka, questioned, questions the decision to proceed that Clive Davis annual pre-Grammy party just hours after Houston's passing. This is the exact same thing we said in our, um, our vid um, posted at our channel. And here she says, I, I, thought, I thought that was complete insanity, insanity. Chaka Khan tells Morgan, I don't know what could motivate a person to have a party in a building where the person whose life had influence, whose life um, he had influence so enormously and whose life had been affected by her. You know, like I don't understand how that party went on. And on the CBS uh CBS channel, let's see if we can just go back right here. We had caught it right here at CBS. On CBS News, they had a clip, and this clip basically um, basically asked the question. You know, it was on this, this clip that asked the question. Let's see if we can get back to, back to this page right here. Um, I don't know if our Internet went out, but check it out. The question of, of the music industry being demonic, that's that's the subject matter, you know, that's the basic subject matter about the music industry being uh, demonic. And Shaka Khan is the only one who had the moral fiber to really put that question out there, you know. And being an insider herself, she probably knows much more than she really wants to tell. However, Whitney being so close to her, you know, and with everything that has gone on, She's putting this question out there, and we should already know that the music industry does is controlled by heavily influenced and controlled by um, demonic powers, you know. And this is just this is just uh, 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 another case, you know, in our face. And here, Shaka Khan has the moral fiber and the grace to at least even put that question out there, verifying all the documentation and information the majority of it, that points out the, the demonic tendencies of the music industry and what it's controlled by and, 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 and how it's influenced and, and how it, it, it has these ritual killings, you know, these ritual murders that now they want to say, well, this is just um, our ex-prescription drugs, you know, but want to then make jokes about, you know, somebody who has suffered um, drug addiction, you know, to crack and a lot of these things that were influenced and brought into the ghetto to affect black people by the CIA and the whole COINTELPRO program. So when we put it all together, this is another condemnation of Babylon and to us who, who know about it, another word to say, to come out of Babylon, my people, before it is too late. So stay tuned and check check. Check, check out what um, Shaka Khan has said and, you know, check out the backstory on it. All right. Shalom. Rastafari.